Hi guys, I'm back. Jim. And I just finished the video on the uh, Zero. So I'm going to move on to unboxing this thing. I've had it for a while now, but with the storm, I haven't been really able to do much with it. Uh, I think you pronounce the name uh, Ikea. It's I-K-A-Y-A-A. -A. It's a storage box. I'm very, very much in on a tennis. And let me adjust the camera because I don't think you can see me. I don't know how that's doing, but it's got to work. I'm going to have to see if I can get any good at my editing skills. I noticed that a lot of folks pop in and out and splice and whatever. Again, very new at all this, so bear with me. I don't even know if you can see me at this point. <clears throat> I'll sit back down here in a second. At any rate, I'm big on storage and organization. I'm a label guy too, which means everything's got to have a label on it. I had a buddy of mine come by once. He looked at my man cave, garage, whatever you want to call it, and he's like, I've got to go. And I said, what's the deal? He said, I'm a little worried you're going to stick a label on me. Let me get this out of the way. You're just nothing, nothing but box. Packaging seemed to be okay on this. It came out of a company in California. I look for these products. Most of them are overseas. I do try to buy from U.S. guys to speed it up. I know a lot of you guys use Your Best and Bango and, or Bungo, whatever you call it. I do as well, but the time. These are lined very nice. What I liked about this and the reason I chose it is, it's three tiers high. And what's neat about that is you can open this one down here and it's got, you know, a compartment that opens up. Now I'm going to be honest with you, after opening this, I just had the realization I thought there would be these type of clips on both sides. And my thought process was, depending upon what I needed to carry, I can take this off and just use the next one or so forth. So that's obviously not going to work because there's hinges on the back side of this. Does it make it a dud? Um, maybe so. <laughs> because each time you open something to get into it, and this one goes this way, all your crap is going to kind of fall about. I don't think it was very well thought out. I think it would have been better if it had these hinges not on the back and that you were able to take it apart. And I'm not too sure, and it'd be pretty difficult to modify it. So, with that said, I'm not quite sure how the utilization of this container is going to be. I have another one over here that I had already purchased when I early got onto the quad thing and was buying the smaller quads and really wasn't that worried about that much storage going out. But I've acquired so much crap that you know, I don't know. This works pretty good. I can get all my wires in here. I've got voltmeter. Uh, right now I've just slung kind of everything in here. I've been converting and making um, uh, leads, bounce charger leads for this charger. It charges much faster and more efficiently than using the USBs and so forth. It has a purpose still. <clears throat> This one I'm kind of disappointed in. I didn't really pay attention. I really thought it was going to have these tight things on both sides, and it doesn't. So that's a bit of a disappointment, and I don't know that I can overcome that. I'm going to look here and see. It would have been nice if the hinges would allow you to separate them. And they might. Let's just see. I don't know that they will or not. Oh, look guys, what an idiot. So I'm a little bit more happy now. It does separate. Cool deal. I take everything I said back a minute ago. Now I'm very happy with it. Came in in one piece, 
It does separate like I thought it would. So, of course, there's no instructions to tell you that. I just kind of guessed. And I'm a happy camper now. So the next video I do will be how I utilize this. And I'll get some different camel angles, camera angles set up. Um, two things I want to say to you guys before you trash me or, or put a bunch of negative stuff down there. The bird in the background is Green Bean. He's a permanent fixture and you're going to hear him all the time. And I have a hearing deficiency. I had a very hard time learning how to talk because of it. I only have 40% hearing in one ear and none in the other. So if I'm in this mispronounce some things or can't get some words right, bear with me. I'm not a complete idiot. I just can't hear them to say them. But with that said, I'm, I'm having fun with this and moving forward. I look up to the guys that do this on a daily basis. I want to shout out to uh, Copter 101. My God, man, you put out a video it seems like every single day of the week. And you've had so many quadcopters on there since I've been watching you, and that's only been for maybe six months or so. I don't even know what you do with all the stuff. I mean, it's amazing. But again, thanks for watching. Do me a favor, subscribe. I hope these get better and progress to be better over time. But I'm pretty excited about this case now. Y'all have a great week. Uh, weekend is coming up or whatever. I hope to have these up if I can get internet but we'll see how that works out. Bye-bye for now.